Last month, we launched Vaults with just a solitary piano. For those of you who downloaded it, it's time to download an update. And when you launch it, you'll see some subtle differences. If we just click on here, you'll notice there's some new bits here. It's a browser and it takes you to the second instrument that we've just dropped. You can load it by double clicking on it or clicking on it and closing it. You can load the browser by double clicking here. Again, click and close. Or you can hit one of these toggles. Just had to do that. What we're looking at today is called R&D Strings. This is a series of sessions with the Scottish Session Orchestra at Clockwork Studios. Just research and development of this idea of something very, very special that became the inspiration for string murmurations, which seems to be quite a popular thing that we've done. So let me take all of these effects off. Uh, just so you know, another addition to the Vaults GUIs, if you double click on the macros, they go back to their load-in state. So before we go into the macros, let me just show you what this sounds like out of the box. Beautiful, lovely, realistic sounding strings, but we're only halfway there. Macros are effects or a series of effects or uh, utilities, if you will. And the first macro here is called Tambra, which you can control with a modulation wheel or I've got a controller, which is CC1 on this thing. This is Nuance by Pierre in France. Now, this time, I'm going to play it softly and occasionally hit one of these notes at a harder velocity and see what happens. What we're doing by hitting the keyboard harder is triggering what we call gestures. It's basically a way of creating hysteresis. The effect on a group of players when they're given something more difficult than a single note to play, it suddenly has this gorgeous blurring or thickening quality. It's designed to work across all of the white notes. With all the white notes, it doesn't just have to be C major, it can be. A or Hollywood's favorite D, Dorian. So it's just about mixing and matching your velocity levels. But let's look at some more of these macros. So obviously we've got the timbral thing, which is great if you're just mapping out chords. I'll show you how in a minute when changing notes, it's good to hairpin in and out of them so that you don't get that sucking effect. We've also got just a stunning effect called glisten a reverb which climbs through the octaves.
and then we have sub. Now this gives you a really Hollywoody sound. Let's go back to quality and it's it's not just about being like scary I think it really it digs in the romance as well then we have Pris which is based on a character from a famous science fiction film from 1983 which adds just something I don't know a little bit of Angelisi and then we've got our echo gives it a more of a hugening effect. And then our splosh. Which is not too excessive, but together with the echo, makes it really massive. And you can switch the order that those work together, echo into splosh or splosh into echo, by just simply clicking on that. And then at the bottom, you can scroll up to where and what you're playing. So for me, this ships with a degree of splosh that is, well, basically, I like it a lot wetter. And the reason for that is when music goes behind a perforated screen in a cinema, the top end disappears. And the first thing to get kind of really sucked away when the top end goes is reverb. So I do tend to really wetten it up. Now, when composing, I work with both hands. What I like about all of these hairpins that are baked into the sample is that I don't have to fiddle around with that. I still get a sense of what it will sound like with musicians. But when I actually play in the parts, I tend to separate. Combination of the echo and the splosh and the use of the controller there, CC1, the timbral controller, and also a little bit of expression there which is just volume, takes away that weird paddy sound because musicians naturally play into the note. It's not just duh, duh. So let's just put everything on and see what it sounds like. All for free, forever more from Crow Hill. Join us to get your hands on this at thecrowhillcompany.com. All we ask in return, certainly when watching these videos, we're a small startup, is that you subscribe to the channel. It means the world to us, it really does. So if you can do that, ding the bell to be notified, otherwise you'll miss the next Vaults drop.